Happy Friday evening, my YouTube friends. So it's been a rough day for me. Uh, it's, I, I feel like I might be sort of like one of those animals that just senses a storm before it comes. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I was thinking about this. I don't know that I was actually born this way. I, um, I developed this. I developed this ability to, to read my environment very carefully. <laughs> um, so this thing went down today. You all know about um, the reversal of Roe versus Wade. I had done this, uh, this YouTube uh, weeks ago regarding this subject. <clears throat> and I am just incredibly concerned. I'm really concerned about the direction that our country is going in. <clears throat> I've seen it coming on and it was probably coming on before I became aware of it. I was just focused on other things like just keeping a roof over our head as you know, a single mom. So my focus was on, on other things and I wasn't focusing on, on the direction that our country was moving in. I have felt my whole life like I had this thumb on me. Like I had this, this just something pressing me down that just didn't want me to progress to like really thrive in, in my life. It was like, it just felt like there was just one thing after another that would just, that would just happen, you know, like the transmission in my car would go out or, um, <laughs> you know, every single time I felt like I was, I was getting a handle on, on my finances, you know, I would get a speeding ticket or <laughs> something would happen that I would just feel pushed back down and it was and it was like it was also just turned on me that it was my choices you made these choices in your life you you made your bed and you need to lay in it like some somehow I had to suffer for my choices and I know this is partly coming from me but it was also coming from my culture my church my family these beliefs were passed down to me and I believed them. I believed them for a very, very long time. So I, I don't even know like exactly this sadness. Okay. So what I'm starting to notice is that it really doesn't even matter what side of the political aisle you're on because the Democrats have had years to like work on this issue. And now they're just saying, oh, so sorry. You know, the reports all the Republicans and I'm not saying that the, that the Republicans are not largely um, <laughs> ingrained in what is happening right now, but so are the Democrats. It's easy to say, oh yeah, see, look, they failed you. I didn't fail you, they failed you. It's all a circus. It's all a circus. But the problem is that it's actually our lives. It's actually our lives. <clears throat> so I'm just concerned about, about, children about children who would find themselves in a situation where they were raped or they had incest happen to them or some horrible thing happened and they are pregnant and they do not have the right to an abortion i think the cruelty of that is just unbelievable that women would not have the choice over their own body in this manner. I mean, I understand the whole thing about 
murder, okay? You know what? And I've done podcasts about this. You know, it's like people want to talk about this, but we make hard choices in this life. There are times when we actually put our animals to death, right? If we know that our animal is suffering, our beloved pets that we cry when we make the decision to send them over the rainbow bridge. And we don't say to each other, my God, you know, you murdered your dog. You know, there are some states that actually have it where assisted suicide, end of life assisted suicide for people who are suffering from, from terminal diseases have the right to end their own life. So I don't know that I necessarily want to get into that, that exact talk about it, but I don't really think it's about children. Like, we don't use these terms when it comes to things regarding men. Like, for example, we never vote to make sure that Viagra is safe and legal. We never vote for these things. We never vote like to make sure that men don't have forced vasectomies or that they are they don't have access to to condoms. We don't we don't talk in these terms. We don't even think in these terms, but we do about women. So, you know, one of the things that has been coming into my awareness over the last few days has to do with gun rights. Like, for example, the same court that overturned Roe versus Wade decided to, to make it unlawful for the state of New York to require that people have a license to carry so people can just take a gun and carry them through the streets. I guess through the United States because it's because it's against someone's second amendment right to carry a firearm. <laughs> you know, so some girls are coming out and saying, you know, that that guns have more rights than we do as a female in our country. Anyway, these are just the things that are going through my mind and I haven't exactly gotten to what do we do next? <laughs> I'm not sure. I mean, I, I do believe that if we can collectively stay in a place of peace and love, if we can get together in like large numbers and really have this intention of peace and love, that that would have an effect. I don't know that me going and protesting is going to do anything. I don't know if me, like, like, I don't think really even putting out this, this YouTube is going to make any difference, to be honest except that I guess that it makes me feel better because I, I've been feeling incredibly alone with this because most of the people around me are, are in agreement with this decision. They are, they are almost, they almost vote entirely on this decision. And this is the thing that I haven't been able to quite figure out because here's the thing. I believe that that the Christian ministry used Donald Trump for this reason, was to get all of these voters behind him. And it has been coming from the pulpit because I've heard it. I've heard it. Like I heard this one minister saying that, you know, basically about taking women's right to vote away from her. That women should not have the right to speak. They should not have the right to vote. And that in this guy, actually, I think maybe I'm getting them confused, but some minister recently said that, that people who are gay should be executed. I just feel like, like it's the opposite of the way that I really thought things were gonna go down for us. I really thought we were moving into a time of peace and love. 
not of cruelty and meanness. And so, and so there you have it. I just wanted to, to express some things that have been on my mind because I do not believe that this would even be an issue if it wasn't about women. I have felt this, like I feel like I felt this my whole life. That there really is this, this like dislike for women with some men. Not all men are like this. But some men really dislike women so intensely. I mean, she's good for, you know, having sex with and having on your arm and going and having vacations with, you know, you know, like this show of the family. I've got a family at home waiting for me, right? But does he really love her? Does he really treasure her mind and her talents and her opinion? And I just think that's a lot more rare than we want to admit in our society. And it just feels to me like just a complete assault on women to take away their right to any kind of autonomy in this, in this situation. And we're talking also about women who it's between the life of the baby and the mother. And I guess they're just gonna let them both die. <laughs> it's, it's just unbelievable to me. I, it defies reason. Um, but I don't believe that, it, that this would be on the ballot or if this was ev would even be talked about if we were talking about, I guess I should say white men. Um, and I know I'm being very um, racist in what I'm saying, but this is just what I see. And then, you know, the, the, it's already coming out. I guess Justice Thomas is talking about doing away with, like, making contraceptives unlawful. Like, what is the good of that? <laughs> what, is the, what, is, what good can come from making contraceptives unlawful? And then gay marriage. They're trying to get rid of gay marriage. This all just makes me very sad. I know I'm not supposed to take things personally, but sometimes I do. I have a really hard time. I guess I'm hypervigilant, probably because I've experienced this more than I would like to in this world, in this life. <laughs> but anyway, I love you guys. I'll come back with better subjects next time. <laughs> love you. Bye.